minutes past eight. Matt will have the weather for us in around five, six minutes. But first, I want to talk to you about Roy Palmer because when he developed multiple sclerosis, he lost the use of his legs. He had to use a wheelchair then for more than a decade. Now, though, he is back on his feet, thanks to an experimental treatment which uses intense chemotherapy to wipe out and regrow the immune system. Let's take a look at Roy's story. Every time I looked down at my feet, <laughs> I would get a fizzing sensation down my legs, and gradually it got worse. I went to get out of bed, and my legs would not hold me. There was a programme on Panorama, a treatment called HSCT, and two people on that programme went into Sheffield Hospital in wheelchairs, and they both came out walking. I they said, can if, if they can have oh, that yeah. done on a trial, well, why, why can't, can't I? I have it done? I basically went to my own GP, and he put me forward. Finally, at last, having HSCT. Let's hope it works. The support from the nurses there is oh. absolutely fantastic. You still it, keep pinching yourself it's now. It's like a going? miracle, it's like a miracle. I've been given a second chance in life. So certainly an inspiring story. Roy has just walked into the studio. <laughs> and I bet over the last few years, Roy wouldn't be able to say he's here with his wife, Helen, and Susan Colehouse from the MS Society. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. First question's got to be, Roy, how are you? Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, this treatment has changed my life. Um, from being in a wheelchair for 10 years and um, being able to walk, um, we went on holiday this year. I walked on the beach. I swam in the sea. It, absolutely fantastic. Helen, this is an extraordinary story. Mm. Can you just sort of take us back, and we got a sense of it from the, the film a moment ago, uh, to the, the darkest of times when you first got the diagnosis and what sort of situation was then? Um, it, it was a real, you know, difficult situation. Um, Rory woke up one morning and pins and needles in his feet. Um, and we just didn't know what was going on. Um, so, and eventually went into hospital, um, was paralysed um, and it took about a week um, with MRI, lumbar puncture um, to be diagnosed with MS and we were just... Shock. Yeah, total shock. Total shock. And the prognosis at that point was, was what? What were they saying to you about what, what might be your situation looking forward? Uh, You'd wheel... never walk again. Yeah, wheelchair. In a wheelchair. Wheelchair. Were well, you told about possible treatments? Were you told anything at that point? Um, not really, no. Um, for the first, like, two years, I was basically relapsing uh, uh, eight times in a year. Uh, I'd get back on my feet, go a couple of weeks, bang, I'd, I'd have another relapse. So I went on all the top drugs, but every drug I was on, it didn't work for me. Your body uh, would get used yeah, to it, really. His yeah. body would get used to it, so you'd relapse, <clears throat> and then you'd, you'd end up sort of being paralysed again because Roy used to lose his, his legs. OK, so that fast forward a bit through the story. Yep. So you hear about <laughs> HSCT, which is this treatment. Yeah. You hear about that, yeah. you make the decision, which presumably is quite a brave decision, to think, you know, I'll try this. Yeah. How quickly do you know that something is changing? Uh, basically, when I had the treatment, um, Two days after having my stem cells put back into my body, I had cramp in my left calf, and I could never ever feel that. I've never ever felt for ten years, and that was it. As soon as I felt that, I said, "Get me up, the physios." <laughs> rubbing start, his legs, yeah, rubbing his legs. Start wake walking. up, wake up. Because <laughs> I originally seen the program on Panorama three years ago. Uh, two people went into a hospital in wheelchairs and they both walked out the hospital. This would be a good time to bring in Susan, actually, because you can explain, Roy was saying, when the stem cells went into my body. Can you explain what this treatment is? And it wasn't actually easy for you no. to no. get this treatment. Roy had no. to push quite hard. So, so tell us what's happening around this treatment and what it is. So this is a treatment. Um, so of the 100,000 people who are living with MS uh, in the UK, this is a treatment that will have an impact on a very small number. Um, so it's a really, really effective treatment for a small number of people who fit a very strict criteria. Um, and I think uh, what, what people go through is they have stem cells taken out of their body 
uh, and then they go through a really high dose chemotherapy, really intensive process, a really tough uh, process to go through. And, and then the stem cells are ejected uh, back oh, into their yeah. body. Uh, and kind of what like happens that. is they, uh, what happens for yeah, the people that. who it works for is that the MS attacks that people frequently get uh, seem to stop. They seem to get a little bit better. We don't know what happens in the long term, um, but, you know, very hopeful that the treatment will be effective how, how, for a how, long time. How long ago did you, did you get up, literally? Out of uh, since Christmas I've been walking. I had the transplants. Um, a year ago, a year ago now. Yeah, a year ago now. A year ago now, he was at, I, in Hammersmith Hospital. Hospital. Now, <laughs> but the emotion. I mean, I was watching you watching that. And the emotions are still very raw, yeah. oh, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Can, we're pinching ourselves. You know, yeah. we think, well, you know, it, it's like it only happened yesterday for me. And you've got <laughs> you've got two children, is that yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, they too presumably have been through an extraordinary roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we all have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but my wife. It's been brilliant. She stood by me all the way. And, uh, and the, ho the hospital, I, I, you know, the, yeah, I must the say that... The staff at Hammersmith, they are second to none. Yeah, you really. Know. You know, when I wasn't around to, to be with Roy, because obviously living so far away, um, you know, they kept their spirits up. And, uh, you know, I can't yeah. thank them enough for that, really. Well, look, it's, it's been lovely to see you both here today. <laughs> Fantastic. As Nega said right at the beginning, to see you walking into yeah. the studio <laughs> and not even tripping up like most people do yeah. Yeah. Susan, when they uh, walk in here. And, uh, Susan, it's been really great having you oh, on as you. well um, to highlight just what can be done, never give up, keep kind of looking into the research as and, well. Um, can I just say, um, since I've been back on my feet, I've started volunteering now with uh, the Gloucestershire Constabulary as a police cadet leader which I enjoy. Well, look, it's a wonderful yeah. story. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in for okay. us today. Thank um, you. Thank you, yeah. Much more information available. Um, if you want some, I'm sure you'll be inspired by Roy's story. Um, stem cell, on stem cell treatment, that's on our breakfast Twitter page as well. 8.20.